Bethany here. We are getting ready to do a spray tan and of course before any spray tanning session a consultation is very important. When you come in for a spray tan I always suggest that you use dark clothing. The spray tan is water soluble. It will come off in the washing machine. It will come off in your sheets if you stay in your spray tan overnight. Um, you want to always make sure that you prepare the client. You want to cover the nails with a very thick lotion to keep from the spray tan seeping through. You also want to do a little bit over the knuckles as well so those don't appear darker when she rinses the spray tan off. Okay, for Michaela today we did two coats on her. She has a little bit more fair skin so I didn't want to go too heavy with the spray tan. So it's very important that you do vertical lines, meaning going up and down the body, and that you don't overlap the spray tan. A lot of times a bad spray tan will be heavier in one spot than another. You wanna make sure that you steer, steer clear of overlapping. So for Michaela, we did two coats um, on a light mist to just give her that sun kiss glow. I'm very impressed with the Norval line. It is 100% vegan and paraben free. So when Michaela goes home and rinses this off, she needs to wait at least four to six hours. She can go longer than that, but she needs to wait four to six hours. When she rinses off in the shower, a lot of the bronze is gonna wash off her body. So you will see that in the bottom of your shower or your bathtub. And then the spray tan will be on the skin. When you leave, when you're done with your spray tan, I ask that you wear baggy clothing. You don't want tight clothing. You don't want a lot of friction between the body and the clothing and the spray tan rubbing off. So a sundress, something loose, loose yoga pants is just fine.